How do you think the Hunter Biden trials are going to play? Because we've got not one, but two now scheduled to start in June. And if Hunter Biden were this sweet, sad little character who was being wrongly bullied by the feds, I think it could actually have the effect of creating sympathy for Joe Biden. And that seems to be where the White House is going for it. We saw them already getting the talking points out. Like, this is going to be really hard for the president. He may be just despondent over his poor son and what what he's having to go through because Joe's the president. But I... I have my doubts whether that narrative is going to sell. You know how they've been doing all along. He's a drug addict. I love my son. Whether that is going to sell because Hunter Biden is so unlikable. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that goes back to what we were talking about in the beginning, right? I mean, politics is no different, you know, than a court case. I mean, it really isn't. Politics is about who's the most likable guy. I want this guy more than the other one. You know, it's an interesting point. There's there's a kind of a little bit of a triple, quadruple, reverse psychology take place where they thought they'd get Trump by lawfare. I'm not suggesting Hunter's lawfare. Those are real cases. He actually did, you know, is charged with this stuff. Um, however, it's interesting. Like it, it didn't, it obviously backfired against Trump and martyred the guy. I mean, that's just clear. Look at the polls. It's clear as day. They started going up right after the search warrant, his polls. I, I think this case is different. And I'll tell you why. Uh, because Biden is transparently lied about. It. I mean, and not, I mean, he hasn't kind of like, obliquely lied about it. He has transparently lied and said, I knew nothing about my son's business. Now that story has evolved, evolved and morphed into five or six different iterations. But Biden's in a little bit of trouble. Trump's stories never change. He's like, I don't know anything about this. Even if I did, it's not illegal. Uh, Trump's story about the papers. You notice with the papers, he doesn't say, I don't have papers. What does he say? Hey, I was the president, Presidential Records Act. It's the same story every time. You get what I'm saying? With the with the Hunter case, it's totally different, right? Joe Biden's come out and said, hey, I'm a good dad. I don't know anything about this nefarious, illicit, potentially illegal deal this guy was doing. Uh, really? Uh, there's a check for $40,000 written to one Joseph R. Biden. What, what, what was that for? Uh, was it house painting? Well, what were you doing here? What, were you teaching basket weaving? I mean, he, no <laughs> one's explained yet what this guy actually does. It's why the business stuff never stuck with Donald Trump either. Everybody was like, well, Donald Trump was going to build a hotel tower in Russia. Really? Donald Trump's in the hotel business. Reminds me of that line from The Usual Suspects. I I can place you in Queens on the night of the robbery. Really? I live in Queens. You figure that out yourself (laughs) or you got a team of monkeys working around the clock? I mean, none of this works for Joe Biden. (laughs) <laughs> uh, I love that. I, I talked to Chaz Palminter about that movie too. He loved he was it. Magnificent. That stuff was yeah, I got to say, Kevin Spacey was also magnificent. Also yeah, magnificent. Fantastic movie. I love yeah. it. But that's my point is that I don't think that's going to, martyring Joe Biden here, I don't think works. But I, I will say too that I think the Joe Biden is corrupt narrative is at this point is kind of baked in the cake. I don't think it hurts anyone. I think it's legally the right thing to do to prosecute Hunter Biden so that nobody above the law thing. You want to, okay, you guys said that. Now nobody is. But I, I'm not sure. I, I think Joe Biden right now at this point is on the terminal decline electorally. And whether Hunter Biden's guilty or not, it's not going to help him. But or I just don't think it hurts him anymore. He's, 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 he's going down no matter what. See, I think Trump lies and Biden lies and they all lie. I mean, all politicians lie. We've been living with this long enough to know. I mean, you, on a, you almost can't make it to the presidency without lying. It's sad, but it's kind of where we are. Well, I said, but, I, wait, yeah, I make ahead. this point all the time. Every, yes, 100%. I say this every single day. I can on my show. Everybody lies, no doubt. Nobody in politics is even close to telling you the truth even after the time. No. But that's not no. the question. The qu- everything in life is on the margin, right? In the summer, it's not AC or no AC. It's how much. It's not like on or off. Life's about the margin. The problem Biden has is everybody bakes into the cake politicians lie. It's the degree of lying that matters. The problem Biden has in relationship to Trump is Biden's full of shit all the time. He was and, raised and in the about Rican himself. Community. Black yes, community. His, about himself. His, the Polish community. The Greek community. He ties was a civil to every rights single activist. community. 17,000 miles in the Tibetan plateau. He met Angelo on Amtrak, despite the fact Angelo was dead. He traveled the world with (laughs) Xi Jinping. He had oil slicks on his window. His uncle was eaten by cannibals. He was a lifeguard (laughs) who saved 20 people's lives. He beat the shit out of corn pop. He was a truck driver. None of this shit is true. He went to shul. He went to the synagogue. He went to the mosque. 
He went to the black church. You know, who spent, nobody spent more time in houses of worship than this guy. Do you think he'd be a saint? <laughs> Everything he says is full of shit. It's not that he lies. I, you're 100% right. Trump lies, DeSantis lies, Biden lies, Kamala Harris lies. Politicians lie. It's their job. Yeah. It's that Biden lies about everything. He's all like the pathological. Time, people are like, I can't trust this guy. Yeah, it's it is. true. He's it so pathological. Absolutely it, pathological. It's his clinical. His own bio, every single lie he tells about himself is self-aggrandizing, right? Like he, he makes himself look so much better than he actually is. And but the real problem for him, I think people could actually forgive that. It's like, okay, fine, he's some puffer. He wants us to think he's some hot shot, whatever, football player and black man secret and all that. Um but the real problem is he's lying to us about our situation, right? He's looking at us like through Mallorca saying the border's secure. Okay, it's not secure. Yeah. He's looking at us saying things like inflation was at 9% when I took over. We know that's not true. And it's not just Biden. So he lied about that. I actually want to play this for you because I, I haven't seen Corinne Jean-Pierre in a while and it's always amusing. She's always worth a sound bite. I, I'll give her 30 seconds of my day. <laughs> um, she never disappoints. So yeah, he said this never. just recently that it was 9% when I came into office. It's a lie. It was around 1%. And here's Corinne Jean-Pierre, watch this. Just watch the meandering answer she gave when she got asked by a reporter about Joe Biden's lie. I'm gonna ask you about how the president talks about inflation. So for two times over the past two weeks, the president said inflation was 9% when he came into office. Is the president misleading <clears throat> Americans on that? Or does he just not realize that inflation was 1.4% when he came so, into office? So, you know, and, and, and thank you for the question, because I know that this, we got a lot of incoming on this yesterday. And look, I th what the president was, the point that he was making uh, is that uh, the factors that caused inflation was in place when he walked in into the administration, when he took office. Let's, as you know, the pandemic caused uh, inflation around the world uh, to be uh, 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 by disrupting our economy and uh, breaking our supply chains. As you know, we had to act quickly on dealing with the supply chain. He put together a task force. You saw the president do that. I mean, it was like meandering like uh -huh. a creek in the in middle of Montana. It I've went on it. and on and ne'er was there a word about the fact that it was 1.4% and not nine, and he lied. Okay, now we're in my wheelhouse, because economics, I absolutely love. This is my favorite thing to talk about. I know it's the dismal science. I promise I'll make it undismal. Corrine Jean-Pierre is a representative of this entire administration, someone who has so little credibility with any persuadable voter out there that when she opens her mouth, it's such an embarrassment they typically have to bring John Kirby in to rescue her. I mean, when yes. New York Post stories and other liberal outlet stories are being written about how insiders desperately want her gone, it's just so kind of epidemic of this entire administration and their attachment to just serial dishonesty. As we draw near another critical election, it's not just about casting your vote. It's about elevating your voice. I want to tell you about the Association of Mature American Citizens, or AMAC, it's more than just a senior discount org. They unite like-minded patriots committed to preserving our cherished values and actively opposing the leftist agenda. As AMAX membership grows, Washington listens. Every new member strengthens this movement. If you love America, check out amac.us slash Megan and consider becoming a four-year member for just $30. AMAC membership gives you access to the AMAC magazine, free social security and Medicare guidance, money-saving discounts, trusted news, sweepstakes, and more. Take advantage of their election year sale, four years for just 30 bucks by joining the over 2 million members and get your voice heard. Join now at amac.us slash Megan. That's amac.us forward slash M-E-G-Y-N. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.